change these battery settings right now. If your MacBook is having battery draining issue, losing charge too fast, and the battery life feels shorter than before, right after the macOS 26 Tahoe update. Here are some smart tips and tricks to fix it. Alright, so first let's talk about the display appearance and brightness. From settings, first we're going to go to appearance. It's recommended that you can select dark mode to make the battery last longer with every single charge. You can also go to the auto mode, you know, light theme in the day and dark mode in the night time. Next, let's go to the battery settings. As you can see from here, you can check your current battery health and also you can check out, you know, the overall battery usage pattern on your Mac. So we're going to change a few settings in here. First, let's go to the battery health info. And in here, just make sure to enable optimized battery charging for the overall benefit of your battery health. And then press done. Now after that, redirect yourself to the options section. Here, you can keep this slightly dimmed display options enabled. And we're going to talk a bit more about display later in this video. The wake for network access is set to always. That means how frequently it wakes up your Mac when it's on sleep mode for sending notifications, which of course keeps draining battery. So better to keep this option on when it's plugged in. And after that, there is an optimized video streaming option when it's running on battery. It's another smart way to save a lot of battery. So if you want, you can keep it enabled. Now go back one step. As you can see from here, you can turn on low power mode. You can run on low power mode always when it's plugged in or when it's running on battery. It's recommended to keep it always. The only catch is this minor affair with some functions like notifications and stuff like that. So it's totally your call. Now next, we're going to go to wallpaper. Now if you have any screen shaver turned on, this might keep switching to that and your home screen so better keep it turned off. Now after that, let's go ahead and go to the display settings. Unless you're working outside, you can turn off auto brightness so it doesn't keep adjusting and draining the battery. And also, if you want, you can lower the screen brightness from here or from the control panel. So from here, now we are going to go to lock screen. Now in here, we got two settings in here that's really handy. You can turn display off when in battery and turn display off on power and set them to specific times. Now next, scroll down for keyboard. If you don't really want your keyboard's backlight, you can turn off keyboard backlight after a specific time of inactivity. Now, this may seem small, but over time, they really help save your MacBook's battery. Now let's get out of the settings and uh, open the spotlight search and then search for activity monitor. Now, make sure you're in the energy section. Now from here, we can see which apps, programs, or functions are draining the most battery on your Mac. In case if you're seeing a program, a function, or a browser that's consuming a lot of battery, just select them and then just hit stop. Now let's talk about the background apps. So even after you close an app, you'll see this tiny dot under the icons. And that means it's still running in the background, consuming battery, of course. So you can either right click over the icon, separately quit the apps that are done using, or you can click on this Apple icon from there to force quit. And then you can close multiple apps at once that's running in the background. Now, finally, when you're going to bed and you're done using your Mac for the day, from settings, just go ahead and turn off Wi Fi and Bluetooth. And that's it. If you've got any more cool ideas to save battery on your macOS Tahoe, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.